Waking Up with... <laughs> Shivraj Prashad, your host on Good Morning Grammar. Now this show is really all about you. If you hear someone using poor grammar, pronunciation or just enunciating ideas poorly, instead of being rude and correcting them, just turn them over to our Good Morning Grammar experts. We usually dread most Mondays. So, this Monday I brought in someone who's taught journalists how to write and also speak. She's also a lot of fun. So let's just listen in. Hi, I'm Padma Rao. I'm an author, foreign correspondent and an editor. I'm also a Nazi about grammar and a pain in the neck about pronunciation, be it in whichever language. Faulty speech, bad grammar, tautological writing. Oh, I have so many bugbears. But for today, I'll stick to pronunciation. Why do we say come here when we mean come here? She has long black hair when we mean she has long black hair. Weir for where, dear for there, power for power, flower for flower, career for career, and development for development. Oh, and don't even get me started on the ologies. Gynecology, cardiology, nephrology, instead of gynecology, cardiology, nephrology. All this is enough to land anyone in hospital. Bad pronunciation bugs me because as multilingual Indians, we can twist our tongues around anything. So why the casual disdain for English? Now don't get me wrong, I love English because if the Australians have Stryan and the Americans choose their own form of murder, so can we. But why can't we speak good English at least in a formal setting? Stress on the velop in development. The emphasis in the ologies is on the O just before the L-O-G-Y, cardiology, nephrology and so on. And yes, I know I know there's a W in flower and power, but it's silent. I also know that flower, made of wheat and spelt differently, is pronounced the same way. But don't worry, people will know the difference from the context in which you say something. If you said a cup of flour, I'd know you're talking about a recipe and not a red, red rose. You know, I could say A-I-R is air, so her hair, not her hair, is black. But if I said E-A-R is always ear, you'd realize early, haha, <laughs> early, get it, that that's not always true. English, like most languages, is not very logical. And like many people, I find pronunciation guides and dictionaries rather confusing. But there are easier ways. Key the word you're looking for into a web browser and a dozen audio clips will pop up to help. Or go to YouTube to find plenty of people telling you how to pronounce it correctly. And by by the way, I'd give any foreigner who calls the mountains the Himalaya the same advice. Go to YouTube and listen to how we pronounce our Sanskrit word. It's Himalaya. You can always write to me at prao55 at yahoo.com for help. I'm happy to offer my support. Oops, I do mean support. Bye for now. I hope what you heard was useful, but we'd love to hear from you as well. You too can feature on any episode by sending in your request or feedback with a voice message on WhatsApp on plus 919625475442 or via email at shivraj at brevis.in. We'd be happy to read out your message here or even play it on an entire Friday special episode. Have a good day and stay tuned for another fresh episode of Good Morning Grammar.